Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rochelle for those of you who are new. Today I'm sharing with you my wish list for this season, the fall winter season. So jumping right in, and I have my laptop here. I hope you don't mind. And I'm going to start with shoes because it seems that shoes are the main thing on my wish list. I'm really a shoe girl. I really would like a pair of boots that are basic, everyday, but still have a, not necessarily a statement, but are kind of current, just with the times. Just an updated boot, either a single pair of boots or a collection of boots that are just more current and appropriate for the time. I have a lot of boots, but they're kind of on the older side. I have some knee-high boots, I have a chunky pair of boots that I got last year, which was really great for last year's trend. It would be great if I can merge the concepts of just trend-based, current, good for right now, like trending right now, just very now, but also very classic that I can keep wearing. Some of the boots that I have, I can keep wearing. I'd like something that's also very now. I keep saying that word, but I, 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 I don't have a better word for it. Just something that's appropriate for the time. So for my first example on my wish list, I have a pair of heeled leather Chelsea boots from and Other Stories. And what I love about these, it's not black. I would have liked the black one also, and I have the black one saved. But I like that these are a croc embossed boots. And if you know me, you know I love my croc embossed leathers. I just think it looks so good. It's such a rich look, but it's also pretty classic. I like the ankle length. It's a pretty decent ankle length. The block heel makes it really easy to walk in, and then it's not a high heel at all. It's a heeled boot, but it's not a high heeled so it'll elevate some looks and it won't be so casual but it also won't be so so dressed up that uh you feel weird to wear it in some cases so i i really like these boots from end of their stories and then i have the other version just the other color it comes in several colors it comes in a suede tan and then in a black and then a beige color which are sold out but what i like also is the black one I think the black one is really great also for just very basic outfits. But if I were to choose, even though they're both in my wish list, if I were to choose, I would go with the brown croc embossed one. Just because it's, it's again, it's a staple, it's a basic, but it it's just, it, it's more punchy. <laughs> it's not as flat as the black one, uh, I'll say that. I have another pair of boots that are on my wish list as well. This one is from Oaking Fort. Yet again, another brown one. It looks like mid-calf or lower calf is where it cuts. It's got a square toe and then it's got somewhat of a low heel. I would say it's a low heel. It's a little higher than kitten heel. But I love this brown color. It's in the color Bison. The, the shoes are $40. Unfortunately, I won't be getting these just because they don't have my size. I would have bought it by now if they had my size, but they don't. So what I like about these boots is that I would buy them to break up the colors that I wear. I wear a lot of black, white, neutrals. This is, I would say, is a neutral, of course, because it's brown, but it's a lighter brown. It's a very warm brown, and a lot of my outfits, like this one, are very cool toned. I think that it would brighten up a very dark, cool outfit and, and really kind of make that pop a little bit. So I definitely have my eye on it. I'm hoping that they restock and um, throw in some size nine, <laughs> my size. I wear a size nine. I hope that they restock and put in a size nine. Um, I would definitely jump on that if they did. We have a few more boots to cover that's on my wish list. It's a fall wish list, so naturally I guess we're going to have quite a bit of boots. This one has a bit of a steeper price point. This is from Anina Bing. And they're the tall Tanya boots and they're kind of a Western style boot. I've been seeing this a lot and I think it's such a cool shoe. Now this is what I meant when I say I want something a bit more current, a bit more now. Lately I've been seeing a lot of Western boots sort of out there. Not necessarily the most mainstream shoe but I've just I've definitely been seeing it in outfits. I think I really really like it with the very basic outfit. I think we call it the clean girl aesthetic. I really like it with that, where you have like a tight fitting shirt, maybe an oversized blazer, some baggy jeans, and then you've got your Western boots thrown on top of it, hair in a bun, and it just looks like you put no effort into it, yet the outfit just looks so cool, 
and so expensive <laughs> and I love that look I, I really love the effortless like I don't care at all and yet it just look really cool I would say this is a bit more out there for my style just because it's a specific kind of style it is a Western boot I don't know if I'd wear this every day I probably would not so I probably won't be getting this shoe specifically this brand because number one it's sold out nearly everywhere at $700 also that's a bit of a high price point so more than likely I won't be getting the Anina Bing western tall tanya boot i'm still deciding whether i want to dabble into this kind of trend anyway and maybe try a more affordable option it is a very specific style so even though i'd be getting a cheaper price point it'd still be a western boot that i'd have in my closet and i i guess i have a lot of thinking to do whether i even want to own a western style boot because truth be told i actually really hate cowboy boots still on anina bang because i have quite a few of this brand on my wish list also another pair of boots i have the tall nolan boots which are similar in price at 600 dollars similar in look as it is a knee length or just below the knee length kitten heels boot it is i would say safer than the western style boot because it's it's just not a western style boot it's actually just a very classic style boot it's got a bit of a baggy look but it's still a bit more minimal and more safe and more of a staple look more of an everyday wear than the western boot so i have this in my wish list even though i kind of like the western look a little bit more i do like this as well and am considering it at this very high price, I think that's the thing that's having me wonder if it's worth it or not. Obviously, this would be one of the more investment pieces, which I don't have a lot of in my wardrobe, of course, because of the price. It's pretty steep. I am looking to have more just updated, elevated, nicer, good quality, and not so much focus on the names, but just kind of exploring some of my favorite designers and brands, and Anina Bing is definitely one of them that has a special interest of mine. I would use this how people treat Uggs, in a sense where this would be my throw on with everything outfit. I can see me wearing this with sweaters, with blazers. I really like blazers um, in the winter time, with the coats, with just a lot of different outfits. Because it's a wider boot, with the leg it's just wider, you can fit more of your jeans and I can fit more of a looser fit. I don't know if I'd do the baggy style inside of the boot, but I definitely would like to try just because it seems like such a fun look. That was it for boots, but we're not done with shoes. Next, I have a pair of sneakers and I don't have enough sneakers just to fit all of my needs in my wardrobe. So one that's in my wish list is the Campo Leather Sneakers, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, the EJA, and I'm looking at it from in other stories, but I'm sure they're sold in other places. Here and in other stories, they have different color options, and I really like this white and green one, or the white and beige one. I think they look really nice. I think the shape would look really cool um, in different outfits. I see them styled a lot on an influencer called Coco Beauty. I don't actually know her real name. But yeah, I, I, I follow her channel and I see her style these a lot and I think her style is sort of similar to mine. So I think that I'd really like these sneakers. I'm probably going to buy them because I just, it's time for me to get a new pair of white sneakers. The ones that I have are pretty beat up and I, I officially treat them like my beater shoes, which means that it's time for me to update. It's nearly done with shoes. So another pair of shoes that I really have my eye on and I actually purchased and had to take back because it was so small are a pair of sling back kitten heel pumps. And specifically, this is Manolo Blahnik. So I bought mine off of the Real Real a few weeks ago and unfortunately I had to take it back because the sizing was so small. I bought a size nine and it was so small I could hardly fit it on my foot. So sadly I had to take it back. I don't see any more similar to it on the real real. I haven't really looked. There's a lot in other sizes, but apparently my size is just hard to find. I'm sure a lot of people say that about their own sizing, but it's hard to find. So here I pulled it up on Neiman Marcus and 
They're the Carolyn Low Heel Patent Halter Pumps. I don't necessarily want a patent leather, but specifically what I want is the slingback kitten heels, just because I think for those basic outfits, those, those just really classic outfits, say you have a white shirt, blazer, jeans, I feel like the best look is to have a little bit of a heel sometimes, but I don't own anything that's a small heel that isn't a sandal at the moment, and I think that I would really like a kitten heel. I feel like in Georgia winters and fall, you can get away with wearing slingbacks. It's, it's, it doesn't get too cold. We're gonna have a very mild winter again, it looks like. So I feel like I can wear this pretty much all year round, and I think that this type of shoe is definitely a classic. I would ideally like to get it pre-loved just because it's a bit of a high price point at $795 for a shoe like this. I, I mean, I would love to be able to afford a brand new one. However, I think it would be ideal if I were to get it pre-loved. Okay, that is all for shoes. Now we're moving on to accessories. And the first thing that I have is a belt. Now this one is the Loewe Anagram Textured Leather Waist Belt in the color brown and I don't, well I don't specifically want this Loewe one. Yeah, not necessarily this Loewe brand, however I do really like the way this looks. I like this brown, kind of a chestnut color. It's kind of a lighter, again more warm brown to break up some of my very dark or cool colored outfits, very black outfits. I think it would look really cool. For $490 it's extremely steep so I don't see me actually getting this in my wish list unless it were pre-loved and maybe the price were reduced to 200 in that range, then I'd probably consider a designer belt. Another one that I have my eye on is the Celine Triumph belt. Um, surprise, surprise. I just think it looks really cool. I, I'm liking a little less now. I like the more subtle belts that aren't so brandish. However, because this one is a trending, I'm kind of torn. I like that it's trending and that's sort of the reason why I want it is because I feel like it's good to have at least one item that's a bit more well known, a bit of a cult item. However, I don't, I also don't really like that it's so, so owned. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, it makes me not want it anyways. I can't afford it anyways. It's $590, which I think is outrageous for a belt. If I had the money, yes, I probably would buy it, no questions asked. However, that is not in my pocket these days, so again, unless I were to find it pre-loved somewhere, yes, I would absolutely hop on it, but as of right now, no, that is not something I would be getting out of my wish list. I do think it's a gorgeous belt, the Triumph belt. It's really cool. It's just a simple black with a contrast of gold. You can wear this with so many different things. Of course, it's no wonder people love it so much. It, it just looks, it looks amazing. So moving on, also in accessories, we're looking at some bags and I'm going back to Anita Bing because again, I said I have a lot of things for my fall wish list from Anita Bing and this one now is the mini Nico bag. And I'm just gonna compare that to, I'm just looking at the different Nico bags they have. So we have the one that is Houndstooth and they're both quite small size bags, but obviously this isn't a bag that I'd be planning on putting my life into. <laughs> uh, the other one is the Camel Check, and this one is a normal size bag. I think this is not a mini. And I, something about these bags, I just really, really adore. I love the texture. I love the colors. I love the plaid and the houndstooth. I think the brown mixed in those two bags just really speak to me and speak to my wardrobe and, and what I want my closet to look like and feel like. Just that minimal, sort of darkish, kind of neutral tones. It just, it just feel, it just feels cool. So the mini Nico bag is $300, which is very doable. And then the Nico bag is 350, which again is also very doable. It's, it's feeling likely I'd get the Nico bag just because I'd want it to be a little bit bigger. I feel like mini bags are just a little bit pointless. Um, I feel like they're best for going out, but I don't see this as a going out bag. So I don't know if I'd want to even own a mini. I do like the houndstooth though. I feel like that could be dressed up, but 
I think that I would be better off having this as something more of an everyday wear or just a street wear rather than as an evening wear. So I would rather the larger size bag and I, I can see me buying this. I think this is something that would be a yes in my in my wish list for sure. Okay, so from here on out, we've got some clothing and here I have pulled up the website NAKD and we are looking at a knitted v-neck cardigan. And the reason why I threw in some cardigans in my wish list is because I noticed that my closet, my wardrobe and my outfits have been leaning towards the masculine side, which I typically like, honestly, I typically like the kind of rock and roll, look the um the school kid i, I say school boy but really sometimes school girl but i think leaning more towards school boy because school girl has that um i don't know it's got some stigma around it but really more school boy look however i do want to kind of soften my looks a little bit and add more feminine pieces and while a cardigan is not exclusively feminine i feel like in this case it would feel more feminine for me just how i'd wear that I'm looking at how the model is wearing it here. It's being worn as a top. I like that the, it's a very deep V cardigan. It's only three buttons and it's cropped and it's got the balloon sleeves. I feel like that's a very feminine look. They've got this in beige, green, pink, off-white, and blue. So there's plenty of colors to play with and it's only $31.95. This probably is something I'd be getting just to kind of uh, try it out. I think brands like this, it's kind of a hit or miss. You don't really know if the sizing is going to be right, if it's going to fit right, but at such a low cost, I definitely get this and try it out and see how I feel about it. And if it actually does a trick of making my my wardrobe feel a bit more feminine and adding that element to my, my style. Speaking of feminine, I also have a skirt in my wish list. Specifically, this is a skirt from Zara. This is a pleated skirt in a kind of a dark gray color. And what I like about this is that specifically it falls right into my rock and roll phase uh, that I just mentioned that I really like and also the school kid phase. It, it really is purely for my own, <laughs> for my own specific taste. Um, I just, I really like that rock and roll look and i just think that this is so edgy and so cool i know mini skirts were trending for a long time i have no idea where that stands as far as the trends go this pleated skirt is 45 dollars from zara it's a skirt which makes it even better in a way it's a staple of its own more than likely i probably would buy this item just because again it's at a low price point and again it's it's just it lines up right there with my style that i really like I don't know how often I wear it, but I do know that it, I just, I really like the look. I like that you can style them with different outfits and then they come in different colors. There's a dark brown, there's a black, and there's a gray. My favorite is that dark gray, just to kind of break up some of the black that I always wear. And I really do like how they have the model wearing it with the button down and then the black sweater. I feel like I'd probably wear it similar. Next in my wish list, we're going back to NAKD to look at some pants. And these are organic wide leg high waisted denim. Sorry if I'm staring at my computer. I honestly did not memorize these things. Preferably in the beige. I seem to like that the best. I've been changing sizes here and there. Like my, my weight and my waist size has been fluctuating a lot lately in the past, I would say three years, three to four years. So some of my best jeans no longer fit or no longer own them. And then some of them are just not that current. Like you would be amazed to know how many skinny jeans I have in my closet that I don't wear, but I'm not getting rid of because I still kind of like my skinny jeans, but just don't own the shoes that I care to wear them with. But that's besides the point. I think it's kind of very current. I think it's very now. I think the color, I seem to be liking beige jeans. So I thought I'd try it out. I think I would really like the wide leg. I think they'd look good with the boots that I also have in my wish list, with sneakers, with flats, with sling backs, with a lot of the things that I either have right now or have in my wish list. So yeah, this is kind of a really basic one to have in my wish list, but it is a staple that I feel like um, I could really use in my wardrobe. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Let me know if there's anything that you had your eye on in this wish list as well or something that you recommend that I should get if you have owned any of these pieces and you think that it's a definite yes or a definite no like you have a strong recommendation for it or a strong 
just don't get that thing <laughs> definitely let me know in the comments there'll be everything linked that i mentioned in the description box including what i'm wearing now if you're interested in wearing any of the things that you see here thank you so much for watching please do a girl a favor and subscribe and i'll catch you all in my next video bye